to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to be making a simple video on how to cut bustier pencil gown with pleats okay now what are the basic measurements required we have our shoulder measurement bust measurement waist measurement hip measurement and our gown length so our shoulder measurement is 18 18 divided by 2 we have 9 plus half inch i have nine and half bust is 49 49 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 i have 13.75 my waist is 44 so 44 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 i have 13.5 now the reason why we have plus 2 at the waist and plus 1 at the bust is because in our waist we usually have allowance for our dart so we go ahead and have plus 2 so we have our if is 52 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 14.5 so these are the basic measurements required for you to achieve your pencil gown so for our gown length for our gown length of course the 65 is from the shoulder to the floor that is to where you want your gown length to get up to and we have 65 inches so we are going to deduct our pencil gown from our pleats to be able to know the inches required for the pencil gown and the inches you need for your pleats so in order for you to achieve that what you have to do so what we are going to do is to deduct our pencil gown from our pleated um, part of the gown. So our pencil gown is 37 inches. So we deduct 37 inches, we have 28. So this simply means that we have 28 for the pleats and we have 37 for the pencil gown. Now, this 37, that is shoulder to the knee, is where we have 37 inches and the knee below is where we have 28 inches so this our shoulder to knee we have 37 we'll go ahead and add our sewing allowance to it so our shoulder to knee which is one inch so i add one inch i have 38 now shoulder sorry knee to gown length we have 28 now this 28 i'm going to go ahead and add two inches for the emin allowance so plus two inches we have 30 inches so what this simply means is that we have 38 from shoulder to knee and we have 30 inches from the knee down so those are the measurements required and of course we are going to start with our pattern we are going to just our pattern first before we dive into the fabric so with me here i have pattern paper so this pattern paper is available at our store and one thing about this pattern paper is is about 60 inches long okay it is about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle so when we want to achieve gown measurement that has long length i recommend this pattern paper and it is available at our store okay so feel free to join us on facebook where we also relate um fashion topics and also on instagram all the details are going to be in the description box below so now go ahead and mark our basic measurement okay so we have our shoulder shoulder to bust 10 inches bust to waist 9 inches waist to hip 9 inches and waist to knee length is 17 inches so I'll mark it before I extend my line. So half 
inch below your arm O is your bust measurement. So it helps you to know where to mark your bust measurement. So now let's start our measurement. So the first thing you have to do is to mark your darts, okay? So our darts is four and a half inches. Now, we have four and a half inches. Our waist, this is your waist. This is our arm O, our bust, our waist, hip. So from your waist to your upper hip, where your dart should end is six inches. Waist to upper hip. I'm going with my pattern master, which is available at our store. So I connect my dart line. So once I connect my dart line on my waistline, mark half inch on both sides. You can see where I started from. I came down with about one inch. So the essence of your upper hip is because our e our dart doesn't get to our hip or your knee length. So it just helps you to know where you have your dart. So once you are done with that, the next thing you have to do now is extend this dart line. Extend it. So on your mark half inch on your under bust. Mark half inch on your under bust because we want to achieve this bustier effect. So it connects it in form of a dart. Now, make use of this inner part of your pattern master. I hope you guys can see it. Connect the curve. So you can see this curve. So what this curve does is our bustier effect. Don't worry, you will understand it as time goes on. So now we took half inch on the under bust. So you have your dart and you have your curve to connect to your waistline. Now on your shoulder measurements, mark five and a half inches from this extended dart line. Connect it together. Then we'll go ahead and close this up. You can see, look at it. Can you see the shape of the bustier coming out already? Like you can see this part of your paper stands and it falls. But in case you don't understand this very well, drop your question in the comment section or you can register for training. So once you are done with that now, we now take our basic measurements. Now our bust measurement is 13.75. Our waist measurement is 13.5. Our hip measurements. Now we are going to mark our hip measurements where on the lower hip, not your upper hip. This upper hip just helps you to know where your dart gets up to. So on our lower hip now, we mark our hip measurements, which is 14.5. So on our hip line now, we've marked our hip measurements, which is 14.5. On your knee length, because it is pencil gown, so the number of inches you take away here determines how you are going to have your shape. So I have 14.5. I'll go ahead and take away one and a half inch inches. I mark 13 inches. So you can take away either one inch, one and a half, or two inches. It depends on what you want to achieve. And at this point, I will mark my shoulder measurement, which is nine inches. 
So I'll go in with my arm o curve. Once I'm done with that, I will connect my waist, my bust to waist, my waist to the hip. And I will connect it to my pencil down. So, this is what it looks like. So, we are going to go ahead and mark our neckline. So, the wideness of the neck determines on what you want to achieve. So, I will mark 6 inches for my neckline. And I want my neckline, the deepness of my neckline to get to my under bust or just a little like around my under bust it's actually a very deep neckline but note that you can mark your neckline wherever you want it to get up to so i will use 12 inches and you determine what kind of neckline you want to achieve okay so you can go ahead and determine what neckline so i'll go ahead and make it a v neckline so let me go ahead and cut this out we are going to go ahead and open up this our waistline so you have like your skirt and you have like your bustier. So we go ahead and cut, open up our bust point. So this is what we have, right? And this is our front block. So we are going to set this aside. Once we are done with that, we are going to mark our zip allowance which is two inches i'm making use of one and a half for my zip allowance okay so one and a half i will go ahead and connect it to label always label your measurements okay now on your waistline we'll go ahead and mark our dart which is four and a half four and a half don't forget that your dad should always get to your upper hip, which is six inches. So you connect it together. On your waistline, mark half inch on both sides. done with that mark your shoulder measurement which is nine and a half our bust measurement which is 13.75 our waist measurement which is 13 and a half our hip measurement which is 14 and a half and on our knee length don't forget we took away one and a half inches and we marked 13 so we connect these lines together So, connect our lines together. Now, once you are done with that, for me, because this one and a half inches we left for our zip, my zip doesn't get beyond my, like, it doesn't get beyond my hip. My zip doesn't get to my hip region for me. So, I love to trim it off. That is just the right thing to do because by the time you don't trim it off you are going to have like this puffy effect at the back ahead and mark the deepness of our neckline for the back block so i'm going to use nine inches and i will connect it so i'll go ahead and cut this out block we have one piece and for the front block this is what we have so this back block i'm not going to open it up okay because basically 
why i opened up this is because of the bustier that we have that is why i opened up this part so i will go ahead and transfer this use of this beautiful african print i hope you guys so african prints are available at our store both in wholesale and in retail prices so the first thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and cut out the lower part of our gown the lower part of our gown i'll go ahead and cut it out first that is where we are to have the pleating the length is 30 inches i will mark 30 inches now for you to know how many inches required for you to achieve your pleating you are going to multiply your hip by two and half multiply your hip by two and half so our hip is 52 either you multiply your hip by two and a half or you multiply your hip by three inches so my hip is 52 i will multiply 52 by three in three because i want it to be very full so 156 what we have i've gone ahead and i folded it so we use the length and the width so i'll set this aside now so i'll place my back block first so this is what it looks like now i'll go ahead and cut this out so after cutting this out i'll show you guys what it looks like after cutting it out this is what we have and we have two pieces because our back block we have two pieces i'll go ahead and set this aside quick into two now make sure you place this um part at the straight line because for our front we are to have two pieces we are to have one single piece for the front okay so make sure your center front stays here so i will go ahead and cut this out what we have so i will set this aside the front we have two pieces for the front now this is our center front this center front must be at this closed parts okay and you fold your fabric into two make sure your center front is at this closed part this way so i will go ahead and cut this out turn my fabric into two and i will go ahead and cut i'll show you guys what it looks like so this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have for i hope you guys can see go ahead and cut out my interface exactly the way we cut out the main fabric now for this wording we have the shiny part i don't know if you guys can see it and we have the other side so you are going to make use of this shiny part to the fabric so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and iron this to my fabric and iron this to my fabric this way like i'll use my press iron and go ahead and iron this ironing it is to join these two pieces together so when you want to sew these pieces okay you should start from 
the lower side like you should sew it from down so i hope you can see the shape of the bustier and you can see here and this other part so once you are done with that i'll set this aside now i'll do the same for my interface i will go ahead and join this part and also sew this part together go ahead and stitch it starting from the neckline so because it's armless i'm going to close up my armhole also so let's go ahead and sew this After sewing it you can see what the inside look like and the outside so basically turn this from this lower part so i'll set this aside now we are going to take our second like the lower part of our front block and we'll go ahead and turn it with the interface after turning it now you fold it into two and don't forget that our dart we have four and a half inches for our dart so you mark four and a half inches and waist to upper hip is what six inches this enables you to know where to like where your dart ends so you turn it you mark four and a half and you mark six inches so once you are done with that see our dart now the next thing i'm going to do is so we are going to go ahead and turn our interface with our back block leaving this lower side in it with your interface this is what your back block should look like so i'm going to go ahead and iron this now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to pick up the fabric for our pleating right don't forget it's pencil gown with splits and i will go ahead and fold the edges so you can either fold the edges or you just um lock the edges so i'm gonna head to iron it always iron while you are sewing so we have our two pieces for the front we are going to go ahead and join it together now while you are joining it the two that must meet to show that your measurement or your sewing is correct so you can see that the two that meet at the same point joining it together you have one single piece for the front so now we are going to move to the back now so next thing we have to do for the back is to sew our dart so i fold it into two fixing our dart the next thing we have to do now is to go ahead and fixing our zip so i'll go ahead and fixing my zip your zip you can see the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and join our shoulders together I've so you place it on your cutting table and you mark your measurement so our bust we have 49 inches 49 inches divided by two we have 24.5 so you have 26 and a half which means we have two inches so you mark one inch at this side and you mark one inch here so you can start using our measurement to couple it up the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fix in our pleats so after pleating it we'll go ahead and close up the sides so I'll go ahead and put this on on my mannequin and show you guys what it looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this video so this is what it looks like you can see our pencil gown with our bustier up to you can see our pleats 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.